Hi, Wes here with Airstream Wanderings. Thanks for joining me today. And today we are going to turn manganese dioxide, raw chunks of manganese, into black paint so that we can take primitive pottery that looks like this and ultimately turn it into something that looks like this. Please come along. Well, there are a couple of ways of making black paint for painting primitive pottery. One is to make an organic paint, typically made out of bee weed or bee plant. We're not going to do that today. The other way is to make a mineral-based paint out of manganese dioxide. And there are two ways to do that. The easy way is to go on Amazon and buy some manganese dioxide. And then what you typically would do is add about 20% clay, powdered clay to that with some water, and that will turn into paint. Uh, what a number of people do then is take uh, copper uh, carbonate and about 20% of that as well and mix that in and it makes a somewhat blacker paint. That is the easy way to do it. You can make your paint in just a couple of minutes and you're done. Easy peasy. The other way, which we are going to do today, is to take a chunk of manganese dioxide, and this was picked up near an abandoned mine in western New Mexico, uh, but it's hard. And so what are we going to do? We need to crush it into a very, very fine powder. Uh, and what I've done in the past, I've taken this and take a hammer and pound it against an anvil, and you can eventually get powder that way, but quite frankly, it's quite a mess. So I've come up with another way of pulverizing it, and then once you pulverize it, uh, you have to refine it even more, uh, and they use levigation to get a really fine, fine powder. And then ultimately, all you have to do is take that fine powder, just like you would with the Amazon variety, and mix that with clay and water, and you can make paint. So let me show you what I came up with. Well, what I've done is kind of made a, a modified mortar and pestle. I went to the hardware store, got a, a piece of pipe. I think it's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Got an end for it. And so this is the part where we'll put the manganese in. And then I have another pipe, a smaller pipe. I think this is three quarter inch and has an end on that. And so then what we'll do is take a piece of manganese, drop it inside of here and use this for crushing it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here's the piece of manganese. We'll just drop it in here and we'll do some pounding. I will shut the sound off so that it doesn't bother you so much. And then we'll see what happens. All right, I've pounded this just a little bit. Let's see what we end up with. So we still have a lot of chunks, but we also have some powder. So we'll put her back in there and pound some more. All right, this is after the second pounding. have a good, pretty good pile of nice black manganese and there's still a lot of chunks so what we're going to do is run this through a sieve. This is just a plain old kitchen sieve but fairly fine. Now it's not going to be fine enough for what we want uh, but it's a good way of sort of separating the chunks from the finer stuff. So you can see here, it's pretty nice. But we're not far enough yet. We'll do some levigating. And this will go back into our little mortar and pestle and pound some more. Okay, I've pounded it a couple of more times. It is somewhat more pulverized. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any more. I'll just uh, throw this stuff into the back of my original bag. Work on it more later. 
So here's what we've got. And actually, that will make a tremendous amount of paint. Uh, but like I said, we have to levigate this next to get it even finer so that then uh, we can get a smooth paint out of this. I should mention that even with this kind of a system, it tends to be kind of a messy deal. Probably a good idea to wear a respirator or a face mask. The nice thing that with this setup, it keeps all of the material pretty much down in the pipe. So I don't think there's much airborne. And I honestly don't think that manganese is particularly toxic, not like in the same way that lead is, uh, but it can't be good for you. So uh, forewarned, probably a good idea to be careful. All right, the idea of levigation is to have suspended particles, tiny suspended particles in water uh, that we separate from the heavier particles. So what I'm doing is dumping our manganese into, I use distilled water because it doesn't have any impurities in it. And all we do next is shake it up. And so what will happen is the tiny particles will be suspended in water. The heavier particles will go down to the bottom. And we're going to pour off the suspended particles just give it a second or two for things to settle. Then we pour off the suspended part. And so that should have all of the desirable manganese particles in it. I don't know if you can see, but there's still quite a few. These are the heavier particles. I will do this a couple more times to get all the tiny stuff out and then we just separate the water from the particles usually by evaporation and we'll be ready to make paint. Our solution has settled overnight. The water is fairly clear and then uh, the uh, fine particles of the magnesium it has settled down to the bottom. So now what we're going to do just pour off the clear water. You can see it's fairly clear. And just leave the particles on the very bottom. We're pouring it back into the original container because we're going to shake that up and see if we can get some more fine particles to go in. And we'll do that back and forth a couple of times until we feel like we've gotten everything we reasonably can get. Okay, so there's not a lot in there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but there is a kind of that fine sediment at the bottom. So at this point, all we have to do, shake this up again, get the fine particles suspended. Let some uh, heavy ones settle out. And then pour off. And we'll just repeat this a couple of times. I don't think we'll have to do it very often. Now this is all the other stuff, the manganese that didn't levigate out. The, this is much coarser, kind of gravelly. Well, it's not as big as gravel, but it's like real fine sand. And uh, this is just too coarse to turn into paint, but it's too good to throw away. Uh, I just have to find a way to get that in a more powdery form. And so I actually, I purchased a mortar and pestle and I'll grind that down some more, relevigate this, but I'm sure not going to throw it away. My mortar and pestle came from Amazon and uh, you can see I've already started to use it a little bit. And I have some granular pieces of uh, manganese dioxide. And what I've done is add a little bit of water so I don't get dust. And I won't do this too much, but it seems to grind pretty good. All right, I've ground on this for maybe five minutes, not very long. And I can really tell that it has um, 
gotten a lot smoother. It's still kind of gritty. There's some pieces that are too gritty, but I think there's a lot of stuff in there that is uh, good. So, whether this will work, I don't know. My plan is to pour a fair amount of water in there. Get that going. See how big of a mess I can make. And then pour that off into a, a jar. All right, made a mess, but that's okay. I'll just keep working at that. I'll grind this stuff down some more. Okay, we have the final product. This is the manganese that was levigated out. So this is the very fine particles. And you can see, get close up here, that it's just, it's real powdery. And that's exactly what you want. Uh, and if you get this wet, it will turn nice and black. In order to use it then, what I do is add water and about 20% clay. I use ball clay. Uh, and that clay is what allows it to bind to the pottery itself. Well, it is gratifying to take chunks of manganese uh, dioxide that I found in western New Mexico and turn it into a fine powder so that I can make black paint for primitive pottery. It's nice to know that you're doing something that is roughly equivalent to the way it was probably done a few hundred years ago. And my implement for pounding uh, worked pretty good. It, it was really good for knocking big chunks into little chunks. It isn't great for getting it down into the finest of powders. But I've had a good time today. I Hopefully it's been good for you as well. And if you really want to know something more about preparing different kinds of paint, including this, uh, check out Andy Ward's Ancient Pottery website or YouTube uh, channel, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Until next time, this is Wes wishing you health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.